So today, we have such a great episode. We're making a recipe from the beautiful region of Navarra in the north of Spain. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with the region of Navarra, it's where they do the famous running of the bowls during the festival of San Fermin in the historic city of Pamplona. Anyways, we're talking garbanzos a la Navarra. This is basically chickpeas with a delicious roasted red pepper sauce. And let me tell you, we've done so many different chickpea recipes here on Spain on a Fork, but this one right here really stands out as the flavors are out of this world good folks. This is another dish that's very easy to make. It's made with simple heart healthy ingredients and it comes together in just 30 minutes. This video is sponsored by Tienda.com. You know La Tienda is an online superstore focusing on all things Spain for your kitchen and home and they've been around since 1996. And let me tell you when you visit Tienda.com it's gonna completely blow you away because they have so many amazing ingredients like Spanish cheeses, the famous Spanish jamón serrano and jamón ibérico, the beautiful can't seafood from Spain, Marcona almonds, olives, and all the spices you need to make your favorite Spanish dishes among so many other great ingredients. And also let me tell you, they have a beautiful selection of Spanish cookware, like authentic Spanish paella pans that range in size from two servings all the way up to 50 servings. And they even offer classic grilling systems that way you can always perfectly cook your paella. Folks, visit tienda.com, let them know Albert from Spain on a fork sent you, and make sure you use coupon code on a fork during check out and you're gonna get 10% off your order. Once again, that's on a fork for 10% off your order. Let's begin by getting our ingredients ready to make the roasted red pepper sauce. I'm gonna roughly chop half of a large onion. You can also use one medium sized onion if you like. We'll finally chop one carrot that's been peeled and washed. This one's about medium in size. We'll roughly chop four cloves of garlic. And for the final ingredient, we'll grab a large tomato that's been washed and patted dry and roughly chop it. For the next step, I'm gonna heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. After one minute, you don't want the olive oil to get too hot. I'm gonna add in all the chopped veggies, except for the tomato. And we'll mix the vegetables around, that way they're all coated in that olive oil. And like I always tell you, I like to mix this continuously, that way everything evenly sautés. After about five minutes and the vegetables are lightly browned, you wanna give them a little bit of color as it gives this sauce an incredible depth of flavors. I'm gonna add in the chopped tomato and we'll continue to mix this together. That way everything evenly sautés. And let me tell you at this point, since we've got the juices from the tomato, you don't have to mix it continuously, but do get in there every 30 seconds or so. After about three minutes and the tomatoes are lightly sauteed and well incorporated into the rest of the vegetables, I'm gonna add in four jarred roasted red bell peppers. You wanna add them in there directly from the jar into the pan. You want some of the juices from that jar to go in there as it gives this sauce an incredible depth of goodness. We'll also add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is about two and a half grams and we'll season with a kiss of sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. Then we'll give it a quick mix, that way everything's evenly mixed together. Then we'll turn off the heat and let our vegetables sit here for a couple minutes, that way they can slightly cool off. Once the vegetables have slightly cooled off, I'm gonna transfer everything into a food processor. To make the sauce, you can also use a handheld blender or even a stand-up blender. And we'll run the food processor until all the ingredients are well blended. Then we'll add in one and a half cups of water, which is 355 milliliters. If you want your sauce to have a thicker consistency, you just add in one cup of water. And if you want it to have more of a soupy texture, add in two cups of water. And we'll continue to run the food processor until everything's well blended, which is about 30 seconds. Now to make this sauce, you can also use vegetable broth, chicken broth, or even beef broth. I just prefer to use the water, that way it doesn't overpower the flavors of the sauce. 
And that's the exact texture you want from your sauce, a beautiful creamy goodness. Once again, if you want a thicker sauce, add in only one cup of water. And if you want more of a soup texture, add in two cups of water. For the next step, I'm gonna transfer the sauce into the same pan we cooked the vegetables in. And we'll heat it with a medium heat. While the sauce is heating, let's start getting our chickpeas ready. I've got a jar of cooked chickpeas here. This is the same thing as the canned ones. I'm gonna drain it into a colander. And we'll rinse the chickpeas under some cold running water. Now the size of the jar that I'm using is 700 grams, which becomes 540 grams once it's drained, which is 19 ounces or about three cups of cooked chickpeas. Once the sauce comes to a light boil, I'm gonna add in the chickpeas into the pan. And we'll season once again with a kiss of sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a gentle mix. That way everything's evenly mixed together. And once again, remember to be gentle here, otherwise you can easily break those chickpeas apart. Then we'll place a lid on the pan and lower the fire to a low heat. And we're gonna simmer this for about 10 minutes. This is enough time for all the flavors to develop and for those chickpeas to have an incredible melt in your mouth texture. After about 10 minutes, I'm gonna remove the lid from the pan. And as you can see, the roasted red pepper sauce has slightly thickened up, giving it the most incredible creamy texture. At this point, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat, transfer some of the mixture into a shallow bowl, and we'll sprinkle it with some finely chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, our garbanzo a navarra is done, a beautiful chickpea dish with a roasted red pepper sauce. So easy to make, made with simple heart healthy ingredients and came together in just 30 minutes. Truly the kind of food that's gonna fill your body with so much goodness. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Once again, folks, garbanzo a la navarra, such a beautiful looking dish. Here we go. serious goodness once again i tell you those chickpeas just melt in your mouth in that roasted red pepper sauce taking it to the next level you saw this a classic dish from the beautiful region of navarra northern spain so easy to make and comes together in about 30 minutes you can serve this as a side dish next to some grilled fish or even as a main course as it's got a ton of protein to it either way the flavors are going to completely blow you away really quick before i go shout out to a couple of my patrons alan sanchez Jay Edwards, Kevin Moran, Richard Esby, and Lisa Larea. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below, and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.